today on Blind Date. Where is Dana? Um, hedonism? Oh, I heard Out about that place. Out of control. We're cruising the Caribbean to Jamaica. You're wearing too much clothes, so you're gonna have to lose something. To get this toga party started. We have oil, you're gonna be wrestling each other. Plus, you seem pretty uptight mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's got just the thing to loosen him up. You need to get your pants. It all begins now. 50 cents. Ah! On Blind Date. What's up, everybody? I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to Blind Date. And do we have a show for you today? A little bit later, we're going to cruise down to fabulous Jamaica to see if we can rustle up a little romance down there. Oh, you want to stick around for that mod? But first, let's try to get something started with Makia and Michael. Now, Makia used to be an Air Force sergeant, so she says she can be a bit intimidating to men. Well, she's in luck today because Michael says he likes strong, intimidating women. And evidently, he thinks of himself as pretty darn wacky. I'm spontaneous. Uh, I think I'd like to uh, give you a piggyback ride. I am very, 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 very sweet. But you know what? I can be a bitch. I do spoken word. I like to write poetry. I think sex is like really overrated. Um, you know, I don't do it a lot, but yeah, it happens occasionally. Yes, I have sex on the first date, why not? Shocking to hear the guy say that. Let's just take it one step at a time. Michael. Michael, nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> Look good. Why, thank Very nice. You. Not so bad yourself. Not so bad. Pleasure to meet you. So, what's going on? What's your name again? Michael. Yeah, I don't, I don't date a lot. Um, so, if I do seem a little nervous, then. That's why. Really? But, well, I'm yeah. very nervous too, but um, sometimes I know how to hide it. I spend a lot of time with myself. I mean, with myself, but not with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the military for 10 years. I was overseas for about eight and a half years, so I really hardly ever dated. You were uh, ever stationed overseas? Yeah, I mean, did you hear me when I said eight and a half years overseas? You know what? I didn't. <laughs> you were you listening to me? I was a little me? nervous. <laughs> OK. I'm Kia. I'm Jennifer. Jennifer, nice to meet you. You too. Jennifer. Michael. Hi, Michael. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. <laughs> well, I'm kind of picking up the vibe that this might be like a blind date. Um, very much so. Well, Makia, you know you're a very beautiful woman. I think, yeah. And I would think that you were, I would think, you're not psychically that you're this woman of many mysteries. <laughs> it actually says that you really are kind of waiting for true love. And that doesn't mean that you haven't known men, been around guys, but it looks like you're kind of into talking to men and getting to know them better. So would you like to see how the uh, date's gonna end? Sure. Why not? It looks like this is a nice start. I think the date will go well. I think it might be ended with someone saying we might want to see each other possibly. All right. Hmm. Great. That's the future, so we'll have to see. You really need to get your pimped. You know what All I'm right. saying? And every good pimp has a hat, the coat, Maybe even a cane, definitely a cane. Right. So we definitely got to find you a coat, a hat, a cane. I'm going to go pimp, pimp galore right now. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's the do whole it. Spiel. This is the mix matched pimp right here. What do you think, pimp daddy? <laughs> oh. 
Open your eyelids wide, cause life is full of surprises. I'd advise you get wise with your time and ride with me to the horizon. About the whole date, like the whole date thing. You, you know, the, you feel like it's coming to a good, you know, tell you like, midpoint. Yeah, I mean the date is going really well. I think you need to let loose a little bit. But um, <laughs> really, not too loose, but loose. Loose, yeah. loosen up like how? What are you used to, wild guys? Or well, I know that you're like, I don't know, you seem pretty uptight really? right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it's natural, I guess. I know I do that to people too sometimes. It's all good. You're going for the juggler right now, aren't you? <laughs> This is kind of like my personality, really. I mean, I ain't, oh, really? I'm not holding back or anything. Really? Does it feel like, does it feel like I am? That's how you bit? are? Yeah, I'm, it's all good. Let's have a toast. <clears throat> they serve toast here? Probably. Another lame joke, I know. It's all right. I'm used to it. The lame jokes? <laughs> I wonder if this is sharp enough to... <laughs> Girl, you got the giggles galore right here. Oh, you're so Dang, you're having a good time, huh? Woo! I know. Woo. Good. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. I'm gonna say it was a good time, you know what I'm saying? Did you hear what I said? It was a good time? It was a good time. Oh, I cool, heard you yeah. twice the first time. <laughs> Appreciate the laughs. Oh, I know, I'll I gave give you a hug. Let me you? give you a hug. Cool. Well, you have a good one, okay? You too. All right. All right. Okay, being cool and laid back, that's one thing. But comatose, that's another. Guys, you got to bring it on a first date. And we'll hear from Makia and Mr. Excitement after this. Up next. It's really? wild. It's wild. How wild did you get? Anything goes in Jamaica. We have oil. You're going to be wrestling each other. That's next. You are the guy. You're up on stage. Girl, you got the giggles galore right here. Oh, you're so f Dang, you're having a good time, huh? Woo! It was a good time. I'm gonna say it was a good time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you hear what I said? It was a good time? It was a good time. Oh, I heard cool, you yeah. twice the first time. <laughs> she can say it all she wants, but trust me, it wasn't a good time. And now that we have these two alone, I'm sure they'll concur. The first thing I noticed about Michael was he wasn't a good listener. I mean, I told him I lived overseas for like eight and a half years, and then two minutes later, he asked me, hey, did you ever live overseas? The psychic predicted that McKee and myself would have a positive ending to this date. She's right, the date ended. I don't think I was too much to handle. I think Michael was just too uptight. There's not gonna be another date with Makia. She don't take herself too serious, so I don't see how she should expect anybody else to take her serious. There would not be another date with Michael. Um, he was just too uptight. I need someone to bring out the wild side in me. Well, hopefully she'll find someone to let out her wild side. Not healthy to keep that in. All right, for our next date, we're going to head down to the Hedonism Resort in beautiful Jamaica. Hot beaches, teensy weensy bikinis, and nonstop partying. Say hello to Emily and Javier. Now, Emily describes herself as a normal girl looking to get wild. Oh, this is her lucky day because Javier claims to be quite the wild man, and he's very clear on what he's looking for. The type of girl I'm attracted to is usually about five foot five, 110 pounds. Looks definitely play an important role, but when it comes down to it, it's personality. I like a guy that can make me laugh. Nice boobs, nice butt. Uh, I also care a lot about personality, too. I really like guys who surprise me with things. As long as she's just willing to have a good time, I'm going to have a good time. If I meet somebody that turns me on, they're in store for something that they'll never forget. Oh, could we have teed this up any better for this guy? Jamaica's all yours, kids. Hi. Hello. I'm Emily. Javier. Nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you. So how are you enjoying your time here? <laughs> it's awesome. This is a special drink with ice cream and uh, Jamaican rum. So Jamaican rum? Let's try it out. What's the flavoring, strawberry? Mm -hmm. uh, where are you staying at? Um, hedonism? Oh, I heard about control. that place. Out of control. Did you go out last night? Uh huh. How was it? It was really fun. It's really? wild. It's wild. How wild did you get? Uh, there's some. I, there are people who are getting more wild than me. Oh, really? <laughs> were you just a, a, like watching, like a bystander? Mm -hmm. That's fun. Are you horse riders? Yes. Oh, lovely. Lovely. You're, you, you've ridden horses before? Uh-huh. Have you not? I have. They just, like, scared of me or something. Like, I don't know, I get on them and, like, they sense, like, I'm scared of them or something. But I'm good. So you like to be in control of the horse? <laughs> no, I like the horse to gallop and be in control. Oh, I see. Yeah! <laughs> instructions we're gonna we're gonna have to follow is when we touch them we're gonna touch it very very gentle never touch the ice never touch a blowhole okay <laughs> Clothes, so you're gonna have to lose something. The skirt back. And I'm gonna tie it to the back. Yes. And you need double knots so you can hold it. Nice. There you have it. Okay, now it's your turn. wrestling each other in your togas. All right? So, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Um, I gotta tell you something.
guys like? What? Um, actually, I've been this entire day like trying to get you to come out of your shell and trying to get you to say the things that I'd hope you say and um, just really not interested in oil wrestling or interested in you and... It was just oil wrestling, I thought it would be fun, but, you know, it's nothing sexual, it's just trying to be friends, but, you know, like, I don't wrestle like that with my guy friends, but I'm just saying, I thought it would be fun, but it's all good, don't worry about it. Okay. All right? It was nice to meet Thanks you. Thanks for the date. All right, bye. <laughs> Can we get a guy with a pulse today? I mean, we give him a pretty girl in Jamaica, mind you, and he sleepwalks through the entire day. Unbelievable. Post a comments on the way. Coming up. I'm naked all the time, constantly naked. Wow, she's a friendly one. I love sex, I, mean, I love sex. True Confessions, coming up. interested in you. I thought it'd be fun, but it's all good. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right? It was nice to Thanks meet you. Thanks for the date. All right, bye. <laughs> ah, so close to oil wrestling yet so far. And something tells me Emmy's got a lot more to say about Mr. Personality. Javi doesn't know how to communicate with women. I think that women are complex and you have to ask a lot of questions. And he just didn't know how to ask questions. I just felt like she wasn't giving back to me more information for me to get to know her. I knew that Javi was a complete idiot when I stripped down and put on my my toga, which was nothing, and he wrapped around his toga around all his clothes. I was game to take off everything and wrestle with her, and but she, I think the, her problem was she was kind of scared and never been, never been naked before in front of guys, so. I think she's a virgin stuff. So. so I look forward to oil wrestling with somebody, somebody else. Well, sounds like an invitation to me, guys. Any takers? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> All right, coming up, a woman looks for any excuse to get naked. Oh, it's a very enlightening true confession. Next. I am ordering you to heal. That's called a mama, a mama with a soft heart. Son, 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 son. I'm gonna talk to you as a dad for a second. Welcome back. Now, believe it or not, we've actually had some pretty wild women on this show. I know, shocking. Take Shalon, for instance. During her date in Hawaii, she had no problem getting a little bit crazy. Of course, prancing around so freely is nothing new to this talented young lady, as she reveals here in her true confession. I like showing my body. I'm naked all the time, I'm constantly naked. I'm naked at home, I'm naked at work. If I'm at home, doors are shut, windows are shut, I'm naked. I hate wearing clothes. <laughs> It pisses me off when men see that I'm a stripper. They, they tend to attack that, and they've got this stereotype that all, you know, dancers are easy, they're hoes, this and that. It's totally not true. I love sex. I'm, I love sex, and I'm always into anything open, anything new, anything learning, and I'll do it. Pretty much done it all. <laughs> I can get mean, or I can be really just dirty or nasty, or I like having control. I like to... Have them lay down, put the blindfold, ice cubes, feathers, um, wax, whatever I want to use. And it's, um, they really think it's just all for them, but it's kind of really all for me. Five years, I would like to be on TV or in movies. Want to make the money, want to be up there, want to be famous. Well, I guess we should all look forward to her second chance date. Should be interesting. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge, and I'm just going to go.